Okay, integral. This section is, or this video is, is for integral a to the power x dx. <clears throat> what is that equals to? It's the same as we all know that integral of e power x dx is equal to e power x plus c. This is the same exactly, but it's not base e. <clears throat> That's why what it should be. Okay, let me change it to e power x, e power something, right? We can say that a power x is e power len a power x, right? Because len and e are inverse functions, so they cancel each other. What remains is a to the power x, which is equal, okay? Integral of e power x len a, the power x multiplied with len a, right? That's great, the x. Okay, this is integral of e, it's integral of e power u of x. It should be the u. So the answer is e power u plus c. We don't have the u here. The u is, e, is x len a, so it will be integral of e power x len a, right? d of x len a, right? This is u. But when we put this over here as u, D, D of x lin a, lin a is a constant number, so the derivative of this is going to be like the derivative of x lin a, which is lin a, dx, right? So I have lin a multiplied with the x. To get rid of this lin a, I, I should divide with lin a. So my answer is going to be 1 over lin a, we leave it 1 over lin a, times e power u du, e power u du is e power u plus c. So e power x lin a plus c. So the final answer is e power x lin a is a power x. So the answer is a power x divided by lin a plus c. So what is the difference between <clears throat> integral of a power x dx and integral of e power x dx is we should divide by this in, uh, in, uh, integral of e power x dx is e power x plus c, right? And this is a power x plus c, but divided by the a power x divided by lin a. The same here. We can say it's divided by lin e, but we all know that lin e is equal to 1. That's why the answer is only e power x plus c. So the difference between integral of a power x dx and e power x dx is just we have to divide by lin a in case the base a is not e. If it is e, we don't divide by lin e. Yes, we do. But lin e is equal to 1. That's why left as e power x plus c. That's the only difference. So we have to be careful. We have to be careful for that. And uh, uh, before I uh, give you an example, it's integral uh, of a power u, right? If we have integral a power u, we should have u prime times dx, which is leads us to a power u. u prime dx is du. So what is a power u du? Is simply integral of a power u du is simply a power u, right? Plus c. But a power u, since the base is a, we should divide by lin a plus c. Okay. Now. We have these uh, 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 rules in front of us. Let me give you an example. If we have example e to the power, right, 3x dx, right, we should have it as integral of e to the power 3x d of 3x. And the derivative of 3x is 3, so we have to divide by 3. So the answer is going to be 1 over 3 e power u du. It's e power u plus c. That's it. What's the difference if we have integral of a power 3x dx, right? So it will be equal to integral of a to the power 3x, right? It's uh, uh, going to be, <clears throat> yes, integral of a to the power 3x, d of 3x. Also, derivative of 3x is 3, so we should divide by 3. So the answer is going to be 1 over 3, the constant, a power u du. What is integral of a power u du? It's a power u, which is a power 3x over lin a, over lin a and that's it that's it plus c so the answer is a power 3x over 3 lin a plus c let's take an example let's have an example for example integral of 2 power minus x dx okay <clears throat> it's a power minus x not e that's why we have to be careful it's just dividing the answer by lin 2 that's it so we have to make the u the same here over here, right? Because we can't work with u when we have the x. So it's 2 power minus x du. And the u is 
minus x. What is the derivative of minus x? Is minus 1. So we multiply with minus to get rid of this minus 1. Add it to me. So the answer is minus. A power u du. The answer is a power u. Like e power u. Right? But we have to divide by ln 2 plus c. So it's minus. The answer is minus. 1 over ln 2 times 2 to the power minus x plus c. Uh, another example. Integral integral uh, like uh, let's say definite integral from 0 to 1 of 5 to the power x dx right 5 to the power x dx <clears throat> okay we, we don't have u here it's x x so we directly do the answer it's 5 to the power x plus c but since the base is 5 we have to divide by ln 5 plus c oh we don't have plus c over here why because it's definite integral from 0 to 1 we have to replace instead of x1 so it's 5 to the power 1 over ln 5 minus 5 to the power 0 over ln 5. So the answer is 5 to the over ln 5 minus 1 over ln 5. Then it is 4 over, uh, sorry, it is 5. Yeah, 5 minus 1 is 4 over ln 5. This is the answer. <coughs> Again, another one. Sorry, another one. Uh, let's uh, take integral of uh, 2 radical, uh, 2 power radical x, 2 to the power radical x, 2 power u over radical x dx. That's great, which is integral of 2 radical x. Leave the radical x down. D of radical x, since we have u, we ha should have du, right? Instead of saying let u equal, we can do it directly, fast, this way. Now, what is the derivative of radical x? Derivative of radical x is 1 over 2 radical x. We already have the radical x. So, this d radical x gives me the radical x, which is okay, but it gives me half more, right? So, I have to multiply with 2 outside. Then it will be equal, right, to integral of this 2 is a constant. We leave it 2 power u du. The answer is 2 power u over ln 2, because the base is a, which is 2 plus c. 2 times 2 radical x, <clears throat> right, over ln 2 plus c. Or we can multiply, this is 2 power 1, so we can say it's 2 power 1 plus radical x, because they have the same base, we can add the exponents, radical x plus 1 divided by ln 2 plus c. This is the answer. If this way confuse you, because directly fast you can you can do it or in another way right or you can say huh again let me you can say let u equal radical x this implies that du is d of radical x what is d of radical x we need this right what is the uh, this implies that du is equal what is derivative of radical x it's one over two radical x dx is that true what i need is dx over radical x. What I need is only this. So let me multiply the two over here. We get what? We got dx over radical x is equal to 2du, right? Now, it's easy. We need this also. We just substitute integral of 2 power radical x over radical x dx. That was the question. Is equal to integral of 2 power u instead of radical x, right? dx over radical x is equal to 2 du. Let me put the 2 outside. And this is du, which is equal to outside is 2 times. What is 2 power u du? It's a power u du. The answer is a power u, which is 2 power u, divided by lin 2. Don't forget the lin 2. Only lin 2. That's the only difference between base a and base e. Right? The answer is 2 power u plus 1, because here we have u power u as exponent, and here we have 1 as exponent over lin 2 plus c, and directly we substitute instead of u its value, which is radical x plus 1 over lin 2 plus c. And that's it.